And here's a guy that's strictly a challenge talking about Johnson. The 2-2 to Buner. And here's a drive to deep left. And he has rung Nagy up again. Whatever it is that Charles Nagy is throwing, Jay Buner generally finds it to his liking. He hit 40 for the year. That's his second of this series and his seventh counting the playoffs against Cleveland in 95. Al, it was a hanging breaking ball, and, and we said earlier, if Nagy stays downstairs, he'll have success. This is a high curveball about belt high, and Buner jumps all over it. Watch right here. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Belt high and no problemo. And Albert Bell turned around and watched it right out of here. For his career against Plum, Buner 5 for 15, one of the five hits a homer. A drive to right center field. Ramirez going back, but all he can do is watch. It's gone for Buner's second home run of the night. This one a three-run shot. He puts the error in right field behind him. And he puts the Indians behind by three in the top half of the 11th. Boy, what a redeemer for Buner. Fastball around the outside corner, and he goes right with it. You know, earlier in the game, Bob, and in talking tonight about Buner with Lou Pinella and some of the other Mariner players, he's got the kind of power that he can take you deep the other way. I mean, he's not the kind of a guy who's going to hit you to left field or left center all the time. He can take you deep to right, right center.